Hey guys, this is Jason. I want to show you how you can build a list and get response because you know how important a list is to you, right? In order to build another stream of income, you got to be able to communicate to your list. And let me tell you, it's very easy to do. I'm going to show you how you can do that and get response in less than five minutes. Let's do it right now. All right, guys, I'm back. Now, before we get started and get response, there's one important thing I need to talk about is subscribe to my channel. Why? Because whenever I create a new video, you're going to want to know. So hit that notification button up top there so you can get notified whenever a new video comes out. And I'm going to teach you how to build multiple streams of income, just like what we're doing right now. Now, before we get started and get response, one thing to think about, get response does cost money. Well, how much does it actually cost? Well, for the first thousand customers or a thousand emails on your list, it'll cost you $15 a month. And then it goes up from there up to 5,000. I think it is 5,000 is about $49 a month. So, however, why is that important? Because you need to know it costs your money. But think about it this way. If you're a carpenter and you're building a house, right? Would you use your hand to pound a nail in? Ooh, that would really hurt. And you may get a little bloody, you know, you don't want that to happen, right? So remember, tools cost money and you need a tool to be able to do the business because you don't want to dare generate that business or create a tool like that, whatever. So let's get into the into this thing because I'm fumbling on my words. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and get into Git response. And I'm in the actually new Git response. There is an older version out there. You can actually switch to the older version. I like the new a lot better because the old version talks about campaigns. And that was confusing because if you got a campaign, well, yeah, you can build a campaign, but that's actually your list. So in this here, in a new version of it, in contacts, you're going to have to be able to create your list, just like what I'm showing right here on the screen. And what you do is you create your list right there. And I have a bunch of lists already created. And what you do is inside here will be all the different lists that you have and a date that you created it. And it'll actually tell you actually how many customers are on your list right there. And I do lots of different lists and we can create a lot of different ways. And on the left, right hand side, you have these three little dots. You can add context, means you can import context from an old list you may already have. You can make this a default list. Uh, you can go into the settings, which I'm going to go here in a minute. And then show contacts and show newsletters and show autoresponders. And then you can actually delete the list right there. So in this case, I'm going to go into how to set up the list. So when you create a new list right there, what you're going to first do is you're going to be naming your list. I can't even speak. And it, what we called it was pull over and let me out, Tidewaters Sandals Giveaway. Now your customers, when you send them a list, they will see that. So you wanna make sure that is related to the subject you want them to see in the email that you're gonna be sending to them. Now, the list title. The list title is called Tidewaters Sandals Giveaway Spring of 2009. Now, this is what it looks like when the list, when you've been sending them an email. So this would be like, Thank you for subscribing. And they'll have this email and it'll be their email, not yours, right there. And it says, has been added to the list that you gave them. That's why it's important to make sure you know what that list is. And then there's the title and then the description. Now, give a pretty good description of there of what that is and what they're signing up for. So that will help them understand what they're doing. Now, underneath there, that's the list description we just talked about. Here's the category. Now we pick travel because this is a travel blog that we're trying to, to write to, but it's important to pick your subject line so that you can you know, separate your list into different categories, that's important. Pick your language uh, and we're English, so you may be a different language, so make sure you choose the right language. Uh, show postal address, um, That's that'll show up in the, in the footer message um, of your post or your email that you send to them. And that's kind of important because Google definitely likes to see that. And what we did is we created a post office uh, P.O. box number and so that we can send people to the P.O. box instead of send them directly to our house. Well, the security reasons, you know what I mean? Um, and now footer, uh, the address. And obviously we're in the U.S. And make sure you put your company name in there. Uh, and your address, Raleigh, State Zip, and North Carolina. 
and this is where you're gonna put your logo. And you just upload your logo and it will show right there. And here's the cool thing. Now, this is a little tipper here. Let's say, for example, you're promoting an affiliate link instead of your, oh, sending it to your website and you want them to go to that. You can actually upload the logo for that affiliate link and then put your affiliate link address right there and it'll actually go directly to it. So when you click on the, click on that link, it'll go directly to that um, address that you send them to. So that's very cool. It's another way of marketing for yourself. And then you have the Git response uh, RSS feed right there. And up here, let's move to the next page, subscription. Now, I have everything turned off. I do not like double opt-in because, um, you know, the less my customer has to do uh, to opt in, the better off we are because I don't want them to go through more than one step to get onto my list. Now, I don't really, this up here says send subscription notifications. So that means that every time somebody joins my list, they're going to be, I'll be getting an email from that. Now, if you have a lot of people being added to your list, that could be a lot of email. So I turn that off. Um, and before I showed you that confirmation page, that's right here. If you click on it, it'll actually just open up another tab and it will show you exactly your, uh, your logo and your title, your, your actual list name, and then your title and your description right there again. So I just showed you that already. I showed you too again. Um, and then down here is your unsubscribe, your, your unsubscribe emails and newsletter directory. And over here is your confirmation message. Now, I always do HTML, which is pretty cool. Um, and you can do plain text if you like, but I always do HTML. Now, you can actually customize this name up here, subject line. However, it still has to follow uh, Git response guidelines. So you will have to have subscription in it. And when you try to do it, it tells you what you need to do. And what's important underneath here for your at, from the address perspective is you want to make sure your email is part of your website because you don't want to use a free email because that looks bad and it looks like you're spamming and Git response doesn't like that. So you may over time find out that they will ding you or put your car, your account on suspension because they think you're spamming your customers. Um, so they want to make sure that you get the best delivery possible. And the way to do that is to make sure that it's part of your, e your web address. And if you don't have an email, you can go get one. Uh, just talk to your hosting services and they'll be able to provide you a email with your domain name in it. Okay, um, body. Now, when you log in, you you get to select which one of these. I'm, I'm turning this off because I didn't want you to see all of it. But you get to confirm which one. you got lots of different templates you're going to use. Uh, just all kinds of them in there. And so we picked this one right here. And this is what it looks like. And you're able to, to update information in here. I highly suggest putting like a description of what you're doing. Thank your customers for signing up. That's important. And, and then tell them a little bit about what that what they signed up for and what they'll be getting. And then down below is your footer. And happy travels from pulloverandletmeout.com. And that's just pretty much it. And you could actually do a little bit more if you wanted to. Uh, in there, but that's it. That's all you do to create a list. And now that list is ready for you to build a form. So put on your website or to, um, you know, put it pretty much anywhere you want. So hopefully this makes sense to you. And hopefully I made it kind of exciting for you that you can create your very own list and create another stream of income for yourself by building a list. And let me tell you, there's money in lists. And so you can send them out, send an email to your customers almost every day, but be careful. You don't want to send them too much because it makes it look like you're spamming them. Okay. So if this makes sense, make sure you hit that subscribe button up top and hit that notification button. So that's important. So you want to be able to get another email from me with my next video. Okay. All right, guys, have a great day and let me know what you think of this video. All right. Have a great day. Bye guys.